Hello everybody, Silver Picker here, and welcome to the Silver Picker Squad. Now, today's video is really just the natural extension of a previous video I did a few weeks ago about gold bags. Now, if you missed that, you can check it out in the card right over here. But, essentially, this is a gold bag. Gold backs are a brand new voluntary currency out of the state of Utah that are made out of physical gold. That's right, even though it's flexible, it is actually one one thousandth of an ounce of pure gold. This is as gold bullion as anything else, and you can get one for free. That's right. I told you guys in that video how you can get your first gold back absolutely free. And what you have to do is you go to upma.org and set up an account. So you go to the United Precious Metals Association's website, set up a free account, no strings attached whatsoever, and they will mail you your first gold back straight to your house for free. Now, I am really proud to say that due to that last video, 3,500 of you in the Silver Picker Squad took advantage of that offer and got yourself a free gold back. That's right, 3.5 troy ounces of gold straight to the Silver Picker Squad absolutely for free, and I am really, really proud of that. And I will say, I got a lot of really nice emails and comments from you guys thanking me for turning you on to this deal. However, I also got a bunch of comments saying, what the heck is UPMA and what am I signing up for? Well, it turns out that in my excitement to offer you this deal and share it with you and tell you all about Goldbacks, I didn't actually tell you what UPMA.org does. And I intend to rectify that in this video because what UPMA.org does and offers is incredibly awesome in its own right. And I think that a lot of you would appreciate learning about it. So I hope that you guys stay tuned and learn a lot. And if you have any more questions about UPMA.org, of course, drop them in the comments below. UPMA.org, or the United Precious Metals Association, is an organization out of the state of Utah that essentially serves as a bank for precious metals like gold and silver. Now, there are lots and lots of vaulting services out there where you can safely and securely keep your gold and silver, but there are a few things about UPMA that make it unique and make it worth knowing about. So the primary financial benefit that UPMA offers is really, really cool, and that is a 0% buy-sell spread. Yeah, let me explain. So when you normally go to buy bullion, you go to your local bullion dealer and let's say the spot price for gold that day is $1,500, you'll probably pay around $1,550 for your ounce of gold. So you pay the guy his money, you take your gold coin and you go home. Well, a week later, life happens and your car breaks down and you say, you know what, I gotta sell that coin in order to pay for my car repairs. So you go back to your bullion dealer and knowing that the spot price hasn't changed, you expect to get your $1,550 back. Well, unfortunately, that's not how it works. Not only are you not going to get your premium back, but you'll probably even get offered less than spot. So you'll probably be offered $1,450 or $1,475. Now, there's nothing actually wrong with that. It's not unethical. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just how the industry works. There's a different price for which precious metals are bought and sold. UPMA.org does it very differently. They have a 0% buy-sell spread, meaning they have one price. So if you buy your ounce of gold for $1,550 and the spot price doesn't change, you can sell it back at $1,550 and lose no money on the exchange. Now this is really, really good because there are a lot of people out there that want to keep large amounts of money in gold and silver, but because they live in the real world, they know that their gas bill, their electric bill, their car repairs are not going to be paid for in gold and you'll need to use USD. So if you want to transfer gold to USD and transfer USD to gold back and forth frequently, having a 0% buy-sell spread will save you tons and tons of money. I was just going to say in the long run, but in the short run even, it will save you tons of money. So if you're somebody that likes to keep a lot of money in precious metals, this service is really, really worthwhile for you. That's why I say that UPMA is basically like a checking account for gold and silver because just like in a normal bank, if I put in $1,000 in USD, no matter what the price fluctuations of USD is on the global currency market, I can go and withdraw that $1,000 anytime I want, right? And UPMA is so much like that that they even offer a debit card that you can load up your gold and silver onto, convert it into USD, and actually pay for goods and services using your gold and silver account at UPMA. UPMA.org to buy all sorts of things that you could use a debit card for. You know, I could go to the dentist and have my teeth cleaned and swipe the card and actually pay for that teeth cleaning with gold and silver. Really, really cool. Now there's also a secondary financial benefit to using a UPMA account and that is saving on unnecessary capital gains taxes. Well, capital gains taxes are basically taxes you pay on any realized gain in a financial investment. 
So if let's say you have Bitcoin, for instance, another alternative to USD, if you have Bitcoin, you bought it at $1,000 and then decided to spend it and buy a brand new car when it reached $18,000, you would get hit with capital gains taxes of up to 30% on that $17,000 gain, which is not something you want to do, especially when you're using a currency, right? Bitcoin is intended to be a currency. You don't want to pay capital gains taxes on a purchase you make. And the same is true about most bullion as well. However, because UPMA only uses American silver eagles, American buffaloes, and American gold eagles, which are real currency, meaning they have denominations on them of a dollar and fifty dollars respectively, they do not incur the same capital gains taxes when you spend them for goods and services. So in the real world, what does that mean? You can actually pay somebody for goods or services rendered using your UPMA account. So imagine that teeth cleaning with your dentist. If you tell your dentist, hey, can I pay you in gold and they say yes, they can set up a UPMA account and you can pay them directly from your UPMA account to theirs, pay for the goods and services and if you have made, let's say, huge gains in your gold position, you will not pay capital gains taxes on that gold that you pay out for the goods and services, which is an awesome, awesome added bonus, for real. Now just to be clear, I'm not saying that Bitcoin or other forms of bullion are bad alternatives to USD, I'm just saying that there is a reality of capital gains taxes and because UPMA only deals with $1 and $50 denominated US currency bullion coins, they do have that advantage of protecting you in many ways from spending extra money on taxes that you don't have to. So in short, UPMA is awesome because it is a super, super liquid way to have a nice position in gold and silver. So I already know what you're going to ask. You don't have to say it. You don't even have to say it. I already know you're going to be asking about safety, insurance, security, and all that. Well, I did my homework and I have found that UPMA is actually really, really strong when it comes to insurance and security, etc. They have a very, very good track record. And first off, the most important thing is that every single piece of gold and silver that is represented in an account at UPMA is physically in the vaults at UPMA. So unlike a normal traditional bank that only has to have a small percentage of cash on hand that's represented in the account, so like if let's say there's a billion dollars worth of, of money in their accounts, they only have to have a few million dollars on hand to satisfy that demand. Not at UPMA. If there are, let's say, 100,000 ounces of gold and 100,000 ounces of silver represented in accounts, there will literally be 100,000 ounces of gold and 100,000 ounces of silver sitting in their vaults waiting to be collected, traded, or sold by the account holders. That is really, really critical. So there's no fear of runs on banks or first come, first serve or anything like that. If you have gold and silver there, it will be surely sitting right there in the vaults at UPMA. So that is really good. The second is that it is fully insured. That means if God forbid some disaster were to befall uh, UPMA, you would be able to be fully protected and get your money back no matter what. It is fully, fully insured, which is really, really critical. Now, in terms of how do we actually know that all this is true, right? Well, there's a really, really smart way that UPMA did this, very, very responsible and mature way that they decided to organize this. They actually extracted their own leadership from the entire equation. There is an audit every single quarter that is conducted by UPMA account holders, meaning members of UPMA that have accounts there are not employees of UPMA. They literally go to the vaults and inspect and count and do an audit to make sure that every single piece of gold that is supposed to be there is there. So it's an actual member elected board that goes there and does those audits. And I might add, if you have a certain amount of gold, it's a lot, I think it's something like 40 ounces, but if you have 40 ounces of gold, you can arrange a private audit to check on on your gold anytime you want. So I think that what they're trying to do is be as open, honest, and transparent as possible, and I think that they're doing an excellent job of it. Now for those of you in the Silver Picker Squad a long time who've been watching my videos for years, you know that I love physical gold and silver in my own possession, right? You know that I like to have it, to hold it, to look at it, to enjoy it, and to have it in an emergency at my fingertips. So I'm not telling you to put all your entire stack at UPMA. I'm just saying that there is a place within your stack, within your portfolio of having gold and silver stored off-site, guarded professionally from burglaries, insured entirely, and extremely liquid that you can use to spend for goods and services when you want to. So let's talk about costs, right? What does this all cost? Well, for gold backs, right, if you want to store gold backs or you want to purchase gold backs from UPMA, there's no cost at all for an account. Gold back accounts are absolutely free right now. 
But in terms of traditional gold and silver bullion, you're looking about a 25 cent a month storage fee per ounce of gold and about a one cent a month fee for silver. There's also a small monthly membership fee for gold, but none at all for silver, which is really, really not bad at all. So what that means is, let's say you have 100 ounces of silver and you store it for 10 years, it costs 120 bucks. That is nothing for the security, for the insurance, etc., the storage fees. 120 bucks a month for 10 years of storage of 100 ounces of silver, really not bad at all. And in terms of the actual prices of the gold and silver coins, it's about a 5.8% premium for gold and about a 20% premium for American Silver Eagles, which by the way is very comparable to Atmex or and many of these other online bullion dealers. So you're getting a really reasonable deal and you combine all that with the ease and liquidity of the 0% buy sell spread and it's a really, really fantastic deal. So that's basically the long and the short of it when it comes to UPMA, right? I mean, UPMA is really like the Costco of vaulting services, right? You pay a small membership fee, but you get really, really good prices on items, and you can take that blender back a year later and return it for the same price. No 20% restocking fee for you, right? I mean, obviously there's some differences, but basically that's the way I look at it. And if you are interested in learning more, obviously you can peruse their website and learn more about it. But again, a last disclaimer, I am not telling you that every single person watching needs to put their entire stack into UPMA. I'm just saying that there are some really good benefits to keeping your money off-site in gold and silver, protected, insured, and liquid, and it may be worth for you to have some of your stack at UPMA. I certainly think it's worth taking a look. And if nothing else, get yourself your free gold back. Open an account just to get the free gold back. And if you decide you wanna buy more gold backs, feel free, they're really, really awesome. But it's important to note, I have gotten some feedback on this. When you do order them, because it is a vaulting service, unless you tell them that you want your gold back sent to you, they will just keep them in the vault. So if you want your gold backs physically sent to you, when you order them, make sure that you send them an email and say not only what your shipping address is and that you want them sent to you, but also what denominations you want. Because if you have 100 gold backs, you may want them all in ones, you may want one of each and then the rest in ones. Just make sure to tell them exactly what you want and they'll sort you out. Unfortunately, it doesn't have an Amazon-like checkout process, but it is still really, really easy. You just gotta send an extra email. Now, if you liked the video and you learned something from it, I would love it if you would do two things for me. One is hit that like button. It is so easy to do, it helps me a ton, and it costs you just as much as it costs for your first gold back. Nothing, it's absolutely free and it would really help me out. The second thing is if you would mind sharing the video. Post it on social media, Facebook, Instagram, send it in via email to your friends and family. Help spread the word, help people learn more about precious metals, coins, gold, silver, etc. It'll help them and it'll help us grow our community as well. So I really, really appreciate it. If you are a subscriber, thank you so, so much. If you're not yet a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. What are you waiting for? Join us in the Silver Picker Squad. We learn about gold, silver, other precious metals, coins, picking, and finding ways to make a little bit of extra money on your own terms. And we all know we could use a little bit of that. So if you enjoyed the video, thank you very much for watching. And we've got a lot more great stuff coming down the pike. So stay tuned. And until next time, Silver Picker out.